Hello, thank you for calling Dial a Story, presented by Office of Children's Services, San Francisco Public Library. In our story today, a busload of school children rescue some Thanksgiving turkeys. Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving by Dave Pilkey. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through the autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Over rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey? and a little old man so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pulling of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shep and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled, as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door, and she asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said Farmer McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes, and they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh, dear, cried McNugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fetched, fetched some fresh water from the ground in hopes that a drink might calm everybody down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked around. Not a turkey in sight. "'Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus, abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed, with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful, the turkeys the most. So each one gave thanks for loving and living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. That's all there is. Hang up the phone, please. Goodbye.'